India lived with nature and they were very happy with these three things. And it became a very powerful, rich, happy country. And what did they practice these three things? They practiced rainwater, rainwater harvesting, solar so sunlight, solar and the wind, en wind energy, rainwater, harvesting solar and wind energy. It was their style of solar that they had it, they cooked it right across under the sun. They dried it under the sun. Rainwater comes, they collected as many rainwaters into the ponds and rivers, into the wells, and that was the water. And the wind energy, wow, they go and sit under the tree, they don't have any fans. And the organic, beautiful, naturally beautiful wind will blow and that was the richness. They removed these three from the people, they gave them electricity right in the houses. People forgot about solar. They gave them waters right in the houses, chlorinated water and made the people sick. They forgot about the rainwater harvesting. They gave them fans, they forgot that they have to sit under the tree to wait for the beautiful cold wind blowing and it penetrates, penetrates in every cell of your body. It was powerful, it was medicinal, it was meditation. These three things were never discussed in any schools, universities or in the workplaces. They removed these three things and India became very poor. With 200 years under the foreign invasion by the Britishers, 600 years by the Muslim invaders. <coughs> now India is moving to the, oh, India is already the fifth largest economy, moving to the third largest economy. What's the use? Replace it back. Then you can see the third largest or the second largest. We will be living in beautiful happiness. Replace it back. Every school teach the children rainwater harvesting, solar and wind, en and wind energy. Otherwise, close down the schools. It should be a part of the syllabus, part of the university syllabus, part of every factories and companies and the temples, masjids and churches. If they don't have wind energy, solar and rainwater harvesting, they should be shut down. They have no right to be there as a religious center. No political office, government offices should function without these three. Replace it, all these three backs and you can see only happiness and people living with beautiful wealth. We got our wealth back. My prediction, if you don't replace these three things back, you're doomed to failure. We will succeed with your cooperation. Wind energy, solar, rainwater harvesting.